Hey guys, Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to add a virtual button to iOS 7 using a jailbreak tweak. Okay, in order to do this procedure, you must be jailbroken. If you're not, please click on the link below to be taken to our jailbreaking page. Um, then choose the device that you have and then the version of iOS that you have and do that procedure there. Once you're done and you have Cydia installed on your device, you can come back to this procedure to continue. Okay, first we need to go to Cydia. And then we're going to tap search in the bottom right, and we're going to look for SP Touch. Tap on that when it appears. Tap install. Tap confirm. And tap restart Springboard when it asks. And wait for that to happen. Once the device reboots, you'll notice this weird little icon now um, on the screen. You can move it uh, by tapping on it and dragging it around. Uh, you tap once, and it brings you to your screen, you'll see how that works there. Um, double tap will actually open up your apps, uh, your, your running apps, just the same way that the normal home button works and holding down on it actually locks the device. Um, there are also options. If you go to settings, uh, you can tap on SP Touch uh, and then you can just hide it. You can hide it when it's on the lock screen. You can change the size, the transparency, the color, on the initial position when it first opens, um, so when your device first starts, uh, make it not able to be moved. Um, and you can also even assign it to an activator action. Uh, activator is another jailbreak tweak, which we show you how to video on here. Um, just click the link below. And you can set up an action to make that appear or disappear uh, if you don't want it to always be on the screen. Other than that though, it's a neat little tweak uh, if your home button happens to be broken, uh, if you have certain disabilities, or if you just feel like having a soft home button on your screen at all times. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.